<laughs> Hello, I am Lauren and I am live on YouTube and Facebook today, shooting with two uh, smartphones. Welcome to our Bestie Day Sale infomercial live cast. I'm going to go over some of the cool stuff that we have on sale. Uh, we always do this midsummer sale. It's really exciting. July is typically a bit of a slow time during the retail, typical retail cycle, uh, but we also have to be making orders to factories for the fall. And so it's always a good time to have a sale. So as you all know, with live casts, you can type your questions in the comment box. They will come up on my screens. I have two of them. I have YouTube and I have Facebook. Um, hopefully the Facebook comments will work this time. Um, last time they didn't, so I'm wondering, let's see. I'm going to test this real quick. Done, test, okay. So, ah, oh my God, shoes. Thank you, Cynthia. Okay, so, all right. Now I can see my comments. All right. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go over what is on sale. There's a ton of stuff on sale um, in at americanduchess.com in the sales section, the clearance sales section. Everything that is like a normal style, like like a normal shoe um, that is not imperfect is 89 bucks, except for Bernhardt's, uh, these boots, which are 189. So we thought it would be kind of funny or I, I don't know why we thought $89 would be like 1789, you get it? Like on this day in 1789, wasn't it actually this day uh, on July 14th of 1789 of course the storming of the Bastille fortress and so everything is $89 we have some imperfects down at the bottom as well those are all kind of like, like all the place with the pricing but we always give really good pricing on imperfects and we hope that you find some really good deals okay so first up we have beautiful Garrick's these are our theatrical 18th century shoe. I really, really love these shoes. We have them primarily in black. They are a Velcro <laughs> latchet shoe. They come with this faux buckle and they are flexi for dancing. So if you are doing any uh, dancing, uh, period dancing, if you are someday on the stage again, Garrick's are a really, really great 18th century shoe. Also, if you would just like the, them to be easier to put on because I know that buckles, 18th century uh, reproduction buckles can be a little bit tricky. These are really, really easy. You can't see the Velcro at all. These are just slide. So they just slide on and off and then you just loop them up and you're ready to go. Absolutely love these. They're on the pompadour heel. Really, really comfortable, really, really flexible. Sarah already has a question. What shoes are most appropriate for lower class 18th century? Uh, lower class people also wore leather uh, heeled shoes. They were often issued by uh, like the church or like alms for the poor. You could, you could get shoes issued a couple times a year. So a nice sturdy leather 18th century shoe is perfect for the lower and the middling classes. Okay, sorry, I, I'm so excited by questions. So I always wanna stop and answer them, uh, but I'm gonna try and get through everything that's on sale. Okay, also we have the beautiful Vienna boots. These, I absolutely love these boots. These are called Congress Gators in the period. So these are accurate from the 1850s all the way through the 1880s. They have a squarish toe. It's not a super squared toe, it's sort of like a softly squared toe. Nice little bow. If you don't like this bow, you can just cut this off, it's no big deal. Cute little heels and then the elastic sides. These are accurate to the mid Victorian period. They were definitely all the rage. Queen Victoria loved these shoes. We have them in black as well as this beautiful sort of burled brown color and if you've ever forgotten to put your shoes on before your corset these are your best friends so there's no closure on these you just pull them on and then that's it so you don't have to worry about your boots untying or your shoes untying and bending over during the day to do up your shoelaces these are accurate super super comfortable super super cute 
You can wear these, especially the black ones, for day as well as evening. Evening boots were a thing in the mid-Victorian period, which I think is extra, extra fun. Uh, Benicia asks, what's the purpose of the loops? That's to pull them on to your feet. You can pull them on and off. Okay, so I get a couple of comments. Let's see if I can go. Oh, there they all are. <laughs> all right, so good on YouTube. <laughs> I would buy 100 pairs of some 1830s to 40s white slippers. Well, <laughs> we've made those before and 100 people didn't buy them. So we need you. We need you, Victoria. <laughs> All right, next up, another theatrical offering. This is the Bernhardt boot. I'm going to scoot over here for YouTube. These are a Victorian-esque boot that we have made for specifically for theatrical and accessible customers. They have a side zip. And before you guys are like, oh my God, side zips, it's literally the only thing we make with a zipper specifically for theatrical. Nobody has time in theater to lace up this many eyelets. So the laces are elastic round laces so that you can adjust these really quickly. So you get these on, this all stretches, zip them up and you are good to go. Fabulous, fabulous fit around the ankle. So we've been working on perfecting our ankle back curve so we have better fit. Beautiful two and a half inch pompadour heel and awesome like suede uh, soles. So these aren't suede, they are unsealed leather, which means you can wear these outdoors. They're gonna be fine wearing them on the pavement, but specifically for theatrical, you can glue any kind of dance rubber you want to these. You can just leave them if you like them bare like this. Wonderful slippy slidey on a dance floor, but with the durability to be able to walk around outside. So this is a fantastic Victorian feeling boot that has the modern touches. So 189, usually these are 250. Bernhardt's, beautiful, beautiful. Val says she loves her Bernhardt's, excellent. <laughs> okay. What would you recommend for someone with a wide foot, one or two sizes up? Sandra, we're gonna get to that question as soon as I get through the shoes that are on sale because I have something special for you. Okay, next up, I'm roughly trying to go in chronological order, so what is next i think we're in the 20s now so the bernhardt boots were kind of like an 1890s 1900 to 1910 or so so we're going to go to the 20s we have follies these are a fantastic 1920s t-strap dance shoe and why i say they're a dance shoe is because they do this whoop, whoop, whoop. <laughs> we specifically did these with the split soles so that you could get that flexi pointy foot there's a little loop of elastic up here that allows that stretch to happen without stretching out the vamp of the shoe. But if you're not a Broadway dancer, that's okay too. These are plenty durable to wear all the time. You don't have to point your foot in them. You can wear these outdoors. They do have the unsealed leather sole, but that's no big deal. It's still durable enough to walk outside. And if you live in a very wet climate, you can just treat that with a little bit of mink oil or put the rubber stickies on and you are good to go. Fantastic, very basic 1920s character shoes. These go with everything. So these, 89 bucks. They're normally, I think, 140 or 150, so really, really good deal on Follies for the next two weeks or so. Okay, gonna answer some questions. Congress boots are the most comfortable boots I've ever worn. Thank you, Tammy. It's that nice low heel. Okay, lots of questions about what's gonna be restocked, um, specifically Gibson's, Astoria's, Kensington's, and Londoner. Those are all coming back for fall. So don't worry. I know that it's like, oh my God, we've been out forever. A couple of them popped up in the sale. So I think a couple of you nabbed like the last six or the last uh, pair of like 11. And then I got a lot of messages of what's coming back, what's coming back. So we're working on it with new factories to have those styles coming back ASAP. So we're aiming for a repre order in August with delivery hopefully sometime around September, October-ish. I know it's a long time to wait, but pandemics don't really care about your supply chain. So we're working through that as fast 
and as accurately as we can. All right, let's go to the sort of 1930s, 1940s-ish. Got a lot for these. Next up, we have, I'm blowing through this super fast, guys. Daphne's. I adore, I live in these in summer. I love Daphne's. These were our first wedge. They are perfect for warm weather. They're really flexible and really comfortable. I say they're flexible. Let's see, we should look at the red. Because this canvas is very stretchy. It likes to stretch with your feet. It's super, super comfy. Tiny little peep toe, not something that's going to cut across your your toenails and, and hurts. That's a big thing for us is our peep toes need to actually be peeps, not like Eiffel toes. Nice little lace up loop out on the wedge. So we got some commentary about I can't walk in wedge heels. I have trouble with wedge heels. And so that makes all the difference there. If you have trouble with wedges, give these a try. They're really low. They're really comfy. Beautiful little summer shoe. We have them in navy blue and in red. $89. These are called Daphne. Absolutely love them. Moving to the Hepburns. You guys are familiar with these little golf shoes. We call them golf shoes, but they don't have spikes on the bottom, so don't worry, you're not going to like dead the floors or yeah. But these are rubber soled, formerly royal vintage shoes, so they are really secure. You could totally like miniature golf in these. That would be super cute. I really, really love the Hepburns because they're super versatile. So this is called a kilty, and you can take that off if you don't like it. Like when I was a kid, I hated kilty fringes. Anytime we went to shop for like horseback riding boots, they had kilties on them. I'm like, nah. didn't like ruffles either or, or big sleeves or anything feminine for that matter. So I, I hated kilties, but as I got older, I actually really love kilties. I think it's kind of, they're really fun. They remind me of like horse masks. I, I don't know. But if you don't like them, you could take them off. These also come with another pair of shoelaces in white. So if you would prefer that sort of two-tone look, you're perfectly welcome to do that. And I love that these are so versatile. So Hepburns, we have them in brown and white. We have them in this fantastic Kelly green in white. And these are wonderful for like the late 30s, 40s. You can wear these for 50s and 60s as well. They have a 1.6 inch block heel, super, super comfy. 89 bucks, guys. There's a few pairs of these left. Hope you love them. Go and get them. All right, gonna see what's up here on the questions. <laughs> People are excited. I am also excited. Uh, Alethea says, do you have any plans for 18th century mules again? Um, possibly. So the factories that we are setting up with now have much, much lower minimums. Those of you who have followed us for a long time know that minimums are always the thing with small businesses is meeting those rather high manufacturing minimums. But they have lower minimums now, which mean that we don't have to order like 200, 300, or 400 of something. We can order like 50 or 100, which means that we can maybe play around with some more colors and some more styles. So it's just, it's just us. We just have to get manufacturing back online, and then we can, we can, we can see. We'll see. I'm open to anything. <laughs> Okay, sagged a pair of Follies on Saturday. They, they're as good, if not better, than Leducas. Wow, Val, that is some huge praise. Thank you, thank you. Uh, Sinead is dying to get a sneak of the fall line. They are sitting over there, but I can't show you yet because they're, they're not ready. They're not ready yet. Okay, question about Londoner being restocked. Yes, they are going to be restocked this fall. Okay. Uh, Hello from France. Bonjour. Okay. Next up we have Rita's. I love these shoes because they are a direct repro. And of course we named them after Rita Hayworth. Rita's are awesome because they're they're like the everything 40 shoe. The original of these, uh, <laughs> I caught them. Where did I get these? Monica Link is no longer Monica Link. Monica gave me a pair of, of these originals and they were beat, they were beat up. And so they went to serve the 
pattern. And we found out since they were real World War II shoes, they found out that they were made of like cardboard and really, really crappy leather. So ours are nicer than that. They're not made of cardboard, but they are in everything 40 shoe. So we have a slingback, we have outs, we have a lace up Oxford closure. We have a tiny peep toe. We have a platform. It's like describing these on the website is actually really tricky because I'm like, what, what do I classify these as? <laughs> but they're beautiful on like hardcore 1940s. A lot of people get a little nervous about slingbacks and I totally understand. But the trick with the slingback is how well does it fit around the vamp? So because this comes up really high and it's a lace up uh, closure here, this doesn't move at all. Like this, this whole section being cut out, it might as well be there because these are so secure. They, they cannot see, like I can't even pull that. They can't slip off your ankle. There's also a little bit of elastic there that's kind of sticks to your, your ankle full. God, my anatomy lessons are failing me <laughs> this morning. Beautiful, beautiful shoes. I really encourage you, if you do 1940s, to give these a try. You're really, really going to like them. I found them super comfortable. The cool thing about platforms is even though the heel is technically three inches from here to here, because it has this half inch platform here, this actually feels like it's two and a half inches. That's the cool thing about the platforms is, is it's all an illusion. So Rita, black, tan, 89 bucks. All right, gonna look for some questions. Would love to see another run of the mules. Duly noted, duly noted. We're gonna be doing some more polling as well of what you guys, what you guys would like uh, coming up. Uh, again, we're just sort of like getting back online with manufacturing in three different countries and surviving COVID-19. That, that whole thing. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, Benicia says, I'm trying to order and almost everything is sold out. I do apologize for that, but something that people tend to kind of miss about clearance sales is that we never had all of the sizes in the first place. We only had like two size sixes and maybe a size nine left. So it looks like you've missed stuff, but you, you haven't actually missed anything. We're just putting up what's left and what's end of line. So some of the popular things like Gibson, Kensington, any pairs of Astoria, we had like three pairs of those left, but there's plenty of the shoes that I have been showing you in this live cast. All right, looking on Facebook, looking forward to love the Hepburns, <laughs> horse flaps. Anna Marie. <laughs> yeah, like guilties are kind of like, you know, they keep the flies off your face, right? 1780s uh, slip pumps. Maria, uh, I love 1780s slip pumps, so we can definitely work on those. I will write all of this stuff down. Uh, Diana says, will there be any new styles of 1920s to 40 shoes soon? Yes, 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 there will be. Yes, there will be, there shall be, okay. Kensington and Astoria, something 18th century uh, in ivory and white. Yep, we are working on a restock of both of those, actually. All right. Have I done everything? Ah, one more. One more of the stuff that I definitely have enough of that hasn't sold out while I'm doing this light cast. It is Zella's. I couldn't find the cranberry uh, sample for this, so this is Zella in black. Zella does not get enough love. This is a 1940s. We recode this from a, um, um, a catalog ad with a picture that was like this big that had this beautiful two strap, diagonal strap that goes up across your foot. It's really, really pretty. Small peep toes, beautiful three inch 1940s reproduction heel. These, like if you're ever going out in the evening before COVID-19 or after when we're not all at risk to die, once <laughs> Once we could go out again, when you're going out in 1940s clothes and you're like, what am I going to wear on my feet? I need something that matches my fabulous evening appropriate attire. Zella are definitely the go-to shoe. These are so pretty and they have the, just like the perfect 40s silhouette. They answer all those questions of what am I going to wear on my feet? $89. We have them in cranberry as well as black. So I love these. I definitely have a pair of these in my closet as my go-to evening shoes. And I highly, highly, highly recommend these for you as well. 
There are some other things hanging out in the sales section. We have a bunch of imperfects, kind of like a smattering here and there. I know we have a lot of Peggy imperfects in brown and white, so you can snag a deal on those. For those of you who don't know about imperfects, they are our factory seconds. So anything that has a little bit of cosmetic damage or a nick or a bump or a scrape, whatever it may be, they go to imperfects, which means you get a discount for an almost, but not quite perfect, pair of shoes. Uh, it's something we've done for a long time. It's just something that happens in manufacturing, even though we have really strict quality checks, multiple points along the way. Sometimes things just show up and they don't look as spiffy as we want them to. And so you guys get to benefit from that. The imperfects are all listed with a big imperfect at the beginning of the uh, product name, and they're all at the bottom of the sale page. Uh, if you go to AmericanDuchess.com, click the sale at the top of the, let's see, it's the left top of the uh, bar at the top or just the banner all of the sales shoes are there okay so that's what i've got for stuff that's on crazy 89 1789 sale there's uh, one more product i want to talk about that some people have been asking about we got these last week and i think you're really gonna like this new thing these are shoe stretchers shoe stretchers I, I kind of hate that these are pink, but that's that's what we got stuck with. So pink, blue, small, large. I absolutely recommend these. We're selling them in pairs because nobody wants to stretch one shoe and then the other takes a long time and it's annoying. So shoe stretcher, you stick it in your shoe, you twist up here and it expands the width. Now because our shoes are leather, you spray liberally spray shoe stretch inside stick this in there crank it and it will stretch the width so we've for years we've had lots and lots of people asking about how do i widen my shoes do you make wide shoes and because we're such a small business we can't make a size range of wide and narrow or not narrow um, medium like an average width and so shoe stretchers are the answer to that you can stretch a b width shoe to a c width shoe really really easily with these these also come with nobbles i don't really know the technical name for these so i just call them nobbles you stick these at various points on your stretcher so you have holes all around here so this is perfect for bunions it also comes with a instep an instep nugget pad nugget not sure <laughs> You stick that on the top there once you put them in the shoe and it will stretch the instep. I have really high insteps, so I always use this because I don't like having shoes prying on the top of my foot and I have like weird ballerina feet despite like never really doing ballet, maybe when I was seven. And so the instep nugget works really, really well for that. The size range for these, whoop, I'm gonna grab my cheat sheet. If you're wondering what size to order, I've written it down small the pink it's a women's size five and a half to ten shoe size a men's shoe size six to eight and a half the large the yellow ones these guys that is a women's size 10 to 13 on the wider side so if you need to to stretch even more for width you can or a men's size eight and a half to 12 and a half Highly, highly recommend. I'm so glad that we can offer those now because it, it makes all the difference. If your shoes are just a little bit too tight, shoe stretchers are your absolute best friend. One thing about the shoe stretchers is they will not stretch the length. They will just stretch the width and the volume inside the shoe. Okay, so I see that I have questions, comments. Um, Sarah says, would you ever consider doing matching gloves for vintage shoes? Ooh, that is compelling. Um, I think we just need to sort out our shoe manufacturing and get that all nice and stable first. But I love the idea of accessories. Uh, we've done stockings and buckles, obviously. So I am not opposed to anything right now. Will you make more boots? Yes, boots. Absolutely, especially for fall and winter. Boots are one of our best selling items, um, all different kinds of boots, of course. And so boots were the, the thing in most historical periods after about 1790. So yeah, absolutely. Definitely down to make more boots. Could you please do a flat that is appropriate for 1940s attire? 
We have all kinds of things in the works. Alexandra, don't worry. Your comments and suggestions are always, always welcome because we're always looking for new things to do. All right. Yuri says she loves my blouse. Did I make it? I did make this. I did make this blouse. This is from a uh, truly Victorian TV 894 something, 1894, not sure what the number is. But I also made a YouTube video about this, which was like my first YouTube making video. So you can go watch that on, on YouTube and make watch me make a fool of myself. Okay. Uh, Ern asks about, what about Regency boots? Regency is a really hard category for us. Um, most Regency styles that we've made have never really done that well, but because of our changes, in how many we have to order from the factory now, our minimums, we might be able to play around with some more fun Regency styles, especially since Emma came out. Uh, we've had a lot of requests for Regency booties. Okay, what about a Victorian sports shoe, like in the Tissot portraits, leather and canvas? Oh, that sounds really compelling. Maybe if there's enough demand for anything, then we can try it out. All right, scrolling. Elizabeth says, finally had a chance to wear my Hamiltons for a small event and they were fabulous. Definitely need a pair of shoe stretchers to make them even wider though. Yes, the Hamiltons, you can just widen those out and it you're, it's amazing how well that stuff works. The uh, shoe stretch with the shoe stretch, shoe, <laughs> shoe stretchers with shoe stretch spray. Okay. Thank you for bringing out the gray and black Manhattan boots. They have been my dream boots for many years. Well, thank you for purchasing them. I'm glad you love them. Anna Maria says, you must have the same ballerina feet <laughs> despite having never danced ballet. High instep, super long. My feet my feet aren't super long. They're just, or, or narrow. They're, they just have this like crazy, they're just high. <laughs> okay, lots of questions. Edwardian canvas shoes. We are working on a lot of new Edwardian shoes. Um, History Bounding and the Edwardian period are really popular. And so that whole idea, I love the idea of obviously <laughs> wearing Edwardian clothes for every day and the shoes to match. Okay. Looking over here on the YouTubes, scrolling. Will the shoe stretchers work on fabric shoes? Emily, really great question. Fabric is stretchy-ish by kind of like property. Uh, so yes, if you need to stretch these out, for instance, um, let's see, what other fabric shoes do we have? Or have we made? Nankeen boots? What other? I think uh, Zellas are satin. They should work. So the idea is that you stick the shoe stretcher in here, you spray it on the inside, and pretty much all our shoes are lined in leather. Stick the shoe stretcher in, stretch it out, let it sit overnight. When you come back the next morning, try them on. They should feel much, much, much more comfortable. If you need to repeat it, then go ahead and repeat it. If you need to use some of the novels or the, the nuggets, um, give it a try. Okay. Another question about mules. What about an 18th century mule with a higher heel like the ones Lady Pompadour wears in her portrait? We did actually make uh, those years ago. They were called Antoinette's. We may make something like that again. Um, again, we don't have to do 200 of things in the future. And so we get to play around with more styles, more colors, more interesting, unique things. All right. Maria says, oh, please make a pair of non Louis heel turn of the century boots. I have an original pair of nice sturdy heel, but I love the repro ones. I'm going to excite you guys. You mean like these? <laughs> That's all you're getting. I have to be good. <laughs> Sandra says, are the tees so correct for ball wear? Yes, absolutely. Men's button shoes, John asks. We are working on them. Um, the factory that we sent the sample to, the original, the antique sample, appears to have closed. Um, thanks, COVID. So we're a little delayed on that. We were hoping to have those for fall, but I'm not sure we're going to actually be able to get those done in time because we haven't had any communication from them. So promise you, John, we are working on it. More men's shoes. I really want to expand the men's category since we only have three styles there right now. There's so much that can be done. There's so much cool stuff. But because things are kind of frustrating with supply chains, um, it's going to take a little bit of time. 
Sarah asks for the asks for Dunmore's. Yep, more colors of Dunmore's. Uh, Barbara says, please, please go for the kid leather opera length wrist button gloves. <laughs> They're so hard to find. N another vote for gloves. Another vote for Antoinette's. Okay. Uh, I love my Evelyn's. Will you consider bringing them back in navy? Um, possibly not navy, but probably other colors and a restock of the tan and the brown. No uh, delivery date on those yet, but they're a really popular style, so we definitely want to do those again and in more colors. Okay. Are Ruth and Claire's going to stick around? Um, our plan is to always have a low heeled Oxford, like a 30s, 40s Oxford in the shop. It may not be always exactly Claire or exactly Ruth, but something along those lines. I, I think we're running a bit low on Claire's. I know we got them for fall last year, but we aren't restocking them this year. So again, supply chain issues, but you know, honesty is the best policy. All right, hoping for more Gettysburgs. They are my favorite. We had planned to do them for fall, but um, that factory closed. So <laughs> not this fall, but yes, more Gettysburg, more colors, more of everything. That's basically what I just keep saying is, yes, yes, more of everything. Okay. <laughs> All right. Alyssa asks for wide shoes. Again, Alyssa, we can't make quantities of wide shoes. We're too small, but we have shoe stretchers and our shoes are almost all leather. Some of them are fabric with leather lining, but for the most part we make in leather. So leather plus shoe stretch spray plus shoe stretchers equals wide shoes. Okay. All right, guys. Um, another question about restocking lenders. So at risk of repeating myself, um, yeah, we are going to uh, be restocking Londoner, Kensington, Astoria, Gibson. And then we have some new stuff on the way and pompadours, but pompadours, I think we're going to do them in leather instead of fabric. So that's a slight change with a new heel. There's lots of things in the works. Okay. Thank you so, so, so much for tuning in on YouTube and on Facebook. It is a little bit weird talking to two cameras at one time. And I'm sorry if I'm I'm giving more attention to Facebook than I am to YouTube. I appreciate you guys coming. Uh, I hope you find something really cool in the sale. It's americanduchess.com. Uh, the sale, there's a banner up for the sale. You just click that or the top menu on the left side says sale in all capital letters. Click that, see what's there. There's a lot of stuff in there. Almost everything is $89 and the imperfects are at the bottom. So I hope you find some cool stuff. And thank you again for supporting American Duchess. It really, really, really helps. It makes an impact. This is a tough time of year for us normally. It is extra tough with COVID-19 going on. And so I greatly, greatly appreciate your support. If you have more questions, these two videos are going to stay on our, our Facebook feed and our YouTube channel feed page channel. This is how good I am at YouTube. <laughs> and I can answer your comments if you um, type them. I can answer them with more comments. So thank you very much. And I will see you guys next time. Bye. Is it going to let me leave? It's not going to let me leave. Oh, my God. Uh, I can't. Okay.